Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our React Hooks Responsive Website Designing Part 2 and in this video guys, we are going to install the Bootstrap package in our React.js application. Okay, so as we have seen that in previous video, we have done with setup of the React application and remove unwanted files and now let's install a Bootstrap application in our React.js. So guys, first step, let's open our terminal and move to your getbootstrap.com okay so let's copy this and paste and let's hit enter let's see what happens okay so guys it's installing now so let's wait for it get to completely installed let me just open this and here we don't find package.lock because this is the latest version of react which comes with the yarn lock okay but we are using npm install bootstrap so let's see whether it generates a package lock file or not okay so while npm install bootstrap we have done this we have got this file done guys let me just minimize and here you find inside your json lock folder i mean file so your bootstrap is installed guys all set here you find it your json also done guys now let's close this so yep let's move to our src at index.js file we have to include our bootstrap so when your bootstrap is successfully installed it moves to your node module where inside this node module you have to find with the bootstrap code okay so i'm just clicking on this folder and typing bootstrap so you can find that bootstrap over here okay so bootstrap list css and your js also over here so let's call that path import let's tell bootstrap list css then bootstrap min.css dot min dot css all set we can just include also and live and the same path we have to go to the js folder and call the bundle file so b u n t l e dot min dot js file all set so let's save and now guys to check the output let me just close this so yep let's move to our src components we have created the home page in previous video so i just want a simple card to show over here for a demo let's get back so refresh create just a catch error so done guys and now let's get back so let's create a simple button over here let me just open and close div let's put this and create a button b-u-t-t-o-n button hello and this button we are going to design so in react we use directly class name not class let's save and now let's check the output one so you can see that button right so let's design this button where you can call button button primary save and now you can see the output perfect so you have you can know that bootstrap is successfully installed and it is linked so guys now let's begin with the navbar designing so yep let's go to your src component and inside your inc folder that means we are keeping all the included files so let's give navbar.js file done let's go go to your bootstrap documentation click on docs and search for navbar here you go yep let's copy this navbar itself copied and you can just paste that so before that we have to set up the things so import a react from 
your react where create a hook so function export default navbar okay so whatever you give over here you just need to call that and let's return and while returning you are going to set this done guys as simple now you need to do some changes that is your classes so let me just zoom it okay so just select with all the classes that is control d i am clicking control d and you can move on with class name and if you have an input okay so you just need to end with this forward slash so you find no error but we don't require a search box let's remove it i don't need few things remove it so you can tell react hook website so this is our navbar and this is a mobile button mobile view button so not to worry and this is our menu so which is more clear now all set so now guys let's include this navbar in our app.js file so so you just need to move to your app before this home page you need to include that navbar so let's copy and paste this and tell navbar and import from inc navbar okay so component inc and navbar.js that's it so let's import this component so use this navbar all set so let's get back and okay we find some error syntax error let's go on the navbar here you find this error right so we don't need this drop down it's just a divider which react just doesn't support that okay so let's refresh once perfect so all done guys and now if you want to include this in a container let's remove this container fluid and make it to container here it comes let's move back and just add a simple code i want to make that bg white a simple shadow that's it so our and one margin and make it to margin start save and now you can see the difference perfect so you can all the pages set so now guys let's begin with the home page part let's move to home page and now i want to set up a slider on this okay so let's begin with the slider part so let's create one path called inc which i want to keep all the small small includes of the pages so you can tell slider.js and in this slider.js let's go to get bootstrap search for carousel okay so here you get one demo with the navigation if you find over here also you get top and bottom so for us this is fine we just need this let's copy this get back and paste all set so you find the classes first you need to change from class to class name so just select all control d and type it class name and wherever you find that a single tag is there you just need to end that because react js supports with the ending closing tags so you just have to end it okay so now guys let's control x and now begin with the format to create the slider now in this we are going to create in different format so const where we will tell slider is equal to open and close function and call the arrow function and you can just export default slider 
okay so this is one method of writing the function guys okay all set and now now let's return open and close bracket where you can just pass that code slider done now guys you need to import the image over here so if you find a image folder over here which we have created in the part one video and i have stored one simple slider image so let's call that path import let's tell slider img image from that so you are in a slider over here let's go one step out then move into second step out and then you're going to image folder one step out two step out then move into images forward slash slider hyphen img dot jpg image all done let's copy this and paste it in your src image okay open and close curly brace and paste that image done guys so now let's see the output for this so let's get back okay so we need to go to our home.js file and import this slider so let's import slider from where your inc folder so one step let's give dot so we are in a current directory inc and then slider dot js file if you want to, you can include or else just ignore that because the react automatically calls that and now let's call this the slider component now that's it so now guys let's see the output for it okay perfect done guys so this was my simple image over here which you can find it done and now let's get back and keep this in one container this below content class name is equal to container done so now let's add one py4 oops it doesn't load here let's add py4 class name is equal to padding top and bottom that is py4 and then paste your code guys i don't need this button let's remove that and you can add a text hyphen center so welcome to react home home page let's make hooks that's it guys so we are perfectly designed with our navbar home page slider and one content so guys, let's in next video with the new page integration that is your about us contact us and other few datas so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share